Hey, welcome back. Another day, another model. Today, we're gonna be reviewing Hugging Chat by Hugging Face. This is based on the Open Assistant Llama 30B, 30, 30 billion parameter model, and it's quite comparable to ChatGPT 3.5. So let's test it out, and then I'm gonna compare it to ChatGPT 3.5. Let's get into it. So this is the Hugging Face website. As a reminder, this is where you can find a ton of open source LLMs and a bunch of machine learning tools and libraries and data sets and just a whole bunch of awesome stuff if you're into artificial intelligence or machine learning. So I highly recommend checking out huggingface.co. But today we're gonna to be testing out Hugging Chat. Now here it is, you can see it looks almost identical to ChatGPT in terms of its interface. But right here at the bottom, we actually have the model. It's the Open Assistant Llama 30B model. And it's quite good. Let's test it out on a few things. So first let's start with something easy. Write me a poem about AI, 50 words. Now it's incredibly fast. I'd even venture to say faster than GPT 3.5, certainly faster than GPT 4. And the quality is great too. Check it out. Artificial intelligence grows a digital entity so unlike us, humans, it glows with potential and power to lead the way in technology that's never been seen before today. A little bit of capitalization issues, but this is a good poem. Let's try something a little bit more difficult. So we're gonna go up to new chat. And one of the examples is code a snake game. So writing really good and longer code has been a problem for a lot of open source models. Open Assistant is pretty good, but let's test it out. Code a snake game. Sure, here's an example of how you might code a basic snake game in Python. And it's nice and formatted, just like ChatGPT. Okay, so interesting, we got the whole thing. I think maybe it misspelled this at the end. It's supposed to be running, but that's okay if it still works. And it didn't finish the prompt. So pretty good, not perfect. Let's test out the code though. So we'll open up VS Code, we'll open up a new text file, and we're gonna call this snake.py. And we're gonna come back to hugging, hugging chat. We're gonna copy all the code, switch back, paste it, and let's make sure it all works. Doesn't have random. Okay, so one thing that I see it didn't do is import random, so let's try that. Okay, now we have it. I'm gonna click save. Interesting, it doesn't use any, code is unreachable. Okay, so I see. So the issue that we're seeing here is that it's not indented properly. So it wasn't a simple copy paste, but there we go. And also I see that some of the method names are misspelled. So here's draw snake. Let's see if we can just fix that. And it still does not work, is not defined. It is right there, okay. So I don't wanna spend time debugging this right now, but I'd say it got 80% of the way there. There's definitely some bugs, some misspellings, but it's pretty good. I'm a little disappointed that that's one of the examples that it tells you to do, uh, given that it's not flawless every time. But this is a big step up from a lot of open source models. Let's switch back, let's give it some more tests. Write an email from a bullet list. Let's see what that does. As a restaurant owner, write a professional email to the supplier to get these products every week. Okay, so I hope this message finds you well. I'm writing on behalf of my establishment restaurant name. We are in need of regular supplies. Da, da, da. Yeah, I mean, this looks like a really good email. I'm not seeing any misspellings from a quick glance. So yeah, this is good. Let's try the last example, assist in a task. How do I make delicious lemon cheesecake? This is how you can prepare an excellent and rich lemon cheesecake. Ingredients you will need for 10 pieces. Biscuit, milk, eggs, yolk, cream cheese, instructions. Yeah, I mean, this looks pretty good as well. Let's give it something a little bit more difficult. One task I like to give are reasoning problems. So let's give it a simple reasoning problem. Sally is faster than Nick. Nick is faster than Joe. 
is Sally faster than Joe? Yes. If Sally is faster than Nick, who is faster than Joe, then it stands that Sally is also faster than Joe. Really, really good. Okay, let's give it a little bit of math now. What is 34 times 56 plus, and I'm not gonna use parentheses either. Let's see if it can figure it out. 109 and then add five. It seems there has been a mistake in copying the task. Can you please repeat the instructions to me correctly so that I know exactly what needs to be done without misunderstanding? Thank you. Okay, please calculate. And then I'm just gonna copy it again and let's see if it can do it. Training data goes up to 2021, interesting. I cannot perform calculations. Okay, that's not great. Let's try it with parentheses now, see if that helps. 34 times 56 plus 109 plus five. The result of the calculation is 2158. So let's test that out. 34 times 56 plus 109 plus five. Not right. Okay, so the answer is not right. and. I've found that a lot of large language models struggle with math. They aren't necessarily word problems. They're just pure math. We'll test it against GPT 3.5 and we'll see what the difference is. So let's do that now. I'm gonna open up a separate window. I'm gonna open up ChatGPT. We're going to use GPT 3.5. And now let's give it this math problem first. Therefore, the final answer is 1928. And that also is not right. Let's try it with the parentheses this time. 2013, that also is not right. So they didn't add that last five at the end, it seems. So both Hugging Chat and GPT 3.5 failed. Let's test on GPT 4 now. So you can see it's much, much slower. It's explaining each step. And that got it right. So GPT-4 gets it right on the first try. Let's go back to testing against GPT-3.5. Now I'm gonna say, write a snake game in Python. Let's see if it gets it right the first time. Okay, so I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna switch back to Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna replace all that code that was in here already from Hugging Chat. And immediately I don't actually see any issues. Maybe something at the end there, but we will see. And let's play, it's loading up, but it doesn't seem to actually be working. Nope, okay. Let's see, indentation error, expected indentation block after if. Let's see if we can do a quick fix for this. I'm gonna pass the error back into ChatGPT 3.5 and let's see if it'll fix it. Sorry about that, it looks like there was missing code block after the if, okay, right. So it didn't actually output the whole thing. So we'll replace that. We will make sure that the indentation is right. I'm gonna save and let's play again. Oh, looks like we might've got something. Nope, I think it tried to load and then it just quit. So it seems like it got close, but not enough for us to actually play the game. Okay, so I'm gonna say they both failed again at that. Now let's give GPT 3.5 that same word problem and see if it does it right. While it's true that Sally is faster than Nick, Nick is faster than Joe, there may still be a possibility that Joe is faster than Sally. That is wrong. Uh, it gives examples here. Sally runs 100 meters in 12 seconds. Nick runs 100 meters in 13 seconds. Joe runs 100 meters in 11 seconds. That can't be right because that would make Joe faster than Nick and Nick is faster than Joe. So GPT 3.5 actually failed this reasoning problem where Hugging Chat succeeded. Let me know what you think. If you liked this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.